All right, today we're gonna go over some tribal knowledge on retrofit doors. So some tribal knowledge on retrofit doors that I've learned from elders who are much smarter than me in refrigeration, okay? Is like, so you can kind of tell these retrofit frames here, the different, uh, they, they don't have any heaters on the door or whatever. It's usually a medium temp that used to be in open air that they're now trying to have some type of energy savings on. Typically like kombucha cases, and I'm actually surprised at the, oh, right here. This is perfect. These are much, these are all retrofit doors, this whole lineup. A lot of the times it's like deli cases or whatever. Reduces the load, saves on energy. They probably get some type of kickback from the government, something like that anyway. So if you're having icing up issues with these new retrofit doors something that we found is you got to set the evaporator coil to a lower temperature i mean to a higher temperature so typically the rule of thumb is 10 degrees under your temperature so if we want 32 degrees in this case we want a 22 degree coil right 10 degrees with these retrofit doors it's it's close to five so if we want a 32 degree coil, we're looking at a 27 degree coil. Um, I mean, 32 degree case, we're looking at a 27 degree um, coil. So typically the rule gets cut in half. So rather than 10, we're going down to seven. Now, obviously look at your manufacturer case specs because if your manufacturer case specs is let's say already five or maybe it's let's say eight, you might want to go down to four or you might want to still go down to five and just do some iterations of it make sure the defrost is working right but anyway i'm going to attach to this video um, i did a video on how to set an epr so if you need to you can change the epr setting for that door the reason why it's important is because when your case is a lower temperature moisture is more likely to build up on the coil i mean not your case your coils I mean, your coil is a lower temperature. Moisture is more likely to ice up and build on it, and it doesn't have time to defrost. Um, but anyway, that's just some refrigeration knowledge for you, some tribal knowledge that's been passed down to me. Hopefully, it helps somebody out of a jam. Anyway, that's how you do it, and I hope you learn a thing or two about a thing or two.